had a really tiring, oh god, everything, I was going to say day, <laughs> more than day, more than week, more than month. I'm getting much more used to noticing that I'm not fully present when I'm not. I'm starting to understand, I think, how it's like almost a feeling, a sensation of which part of me has to be where and which part has to kind of host my subsystem or be like at the forefront for us to all be able to what feels like meld together from feels like other parts can bleed through me like this and like I make it easier for them to experience reality in levels that they couldn't get so close to and like what they bleed into me gives me these channels to feel connected to our body, to our emotions in ways that I haven't experienced. It sort of goes together. So we're all a bit fucking stun locked at the new way that we feel so existent and so real. And it can be so overwhelming that I duck out move behind them like they're my shield They're like they feel stuff less raw, less sensitively I think this is why when we were six or seven I split off into a persecutor and a vampire altar like my experience of being alive I had to cut off from it and I did feel like I died and now fusing with other parts of me and feeling like I'm coming back to life we're starting to feel really alive and like I sort of feel like we were vaguely this shape when we were young before that, that kind of used to go by the name Violet. I'm going to go by the name Violet officially, for now at least. It's strange because I've said this, but I don't know if I'm going to share the other vlogs. <laughs> I always feel ingenuine when I repeat something, but um, sometimes it just kind of it bears repeating, it comes out however it comes out and the other vlogs it's more for helping me piece things together, may or may not share the information. My brain's trained through repetition as well, so it's not like it hurts me. It does bother me though, which is why this has even come up. I'm really fucking proud of us. I'm really impressed with every part of me and our whole system. The level of things that we're able to process and deal with. And although it was very close, I did not get re-traumatized today. I was on the fence. And we did manage to process and stay in the 
my body. Not like consistently. I don't think it works like that, but the moments where I floated off behind other parts of me, leaving them as my more numbed out, unfeeling shield, got shorter. And the moments where they or I would notice that that had happened and pull me back happened quicker and I seem to build resiliency and stamina and strength and the moments where I'm able to hold into the front ahead of them and experience this new intense version of being alive are increasing as days go by and I think that's how it works. I think maybe it's just being able to be here in my experience with it for a little bit longer every time. We don't really believe in the concept of a core for us. This stuff all works very differently, depending on different brains, different circumstances, different trauma, different bodies. So I'd never say I don't believe in the concept existing, because who knows how it works for other people. For us, we never felt like it fit having a core or something, but at the same time, when I'm in front of other parts of me like this and suddenly the tunnel vision changes and I'm right here in the room looking out of my eyes with no giant like darkened hallway feeling between me and our vision. It makes me feel like I am somehow integral and core to our ability to connect to ourselves, each other and our experience. And like, the more other parts who were split off at a young age, who are largely animal alters, and, and kids in me, the more those sort of bleed into me from behind, the more I feel like fleshed out and the more intense my ability to experience things in sort of seem to get there's like a, a closeness and a reality that I seem to be able to well that I feel that doesn't work for us if it's not like this, with me kind of in the front of my, what would be subsystem, I guess, and it's so the opposite, like when I was split off into a vampire, yeah, classic experience of feeling not alive. I was so cut off from all of these things. And the more connected I get to other parts of me, the more it, it feels like I hold that, like our ability to connect to feeling alive so much. And like, maybe that's why the brain did it like this. Maybe there's symbolism there and maybe this is something about how we work. I'm so tired that I can barely think straight. It's exhausting. It's so fucking exhausting when you're not used to experiencing things so much and as so real and feeling so much like 
an actual existent embodied person who's observable and everything. Feeling emotions and insecurities that I've never, I never felt before fusing when I was cut off and didn't feel alive. I think this is why there's so many moments in a day where I'll be shocked back or just like lose the ability to hold onto the front and drift back. Either he or a part of me catches it though and sort of gets my attention. I can zoom back in. I get like the feeling of awareness, of existence, the feeling that I exist, that I'm here, but I'm not quite grounded. The feeling that I'm not quite here, but the awareness that I exist enough to have it. And then I can kind of pull myself to the front, grounding, which takes like every ounce of strength I have. It's like trying to fight your way out of being stuck in a stair, but from all the way back there and but it's so hard to even move. <sighs> I am in fucking awe of how hard we work and how well we do. And I am so grateful that other parts of me and him can catch this and pull me back and do. I really feel like everyone in this system has my back, me and him and all of us. I'm starting to even feel like I do. I'm like, it's fucking amazing how much I can trust myself. kind of making me start to relax even a little whenever I notice that I'm drifting instead of like panicking because I notice it'll be more like god I'm exhausted I notice I notice that I've lost the strength to like hold myself to the front and instead of panic there's oh and give it a second and I'll be back. Someone will pull me back. I'll pull myself back. It's like the knowledge, the security that I will be okay and I will get back into the front and my body. Not like the feeling that I'm doing something wrong every time I lose connection with it. and drift back in, just the acknowledgement of how fucking exhausting it is. It's almost like the gravity fucking goes or reverses and I have to pull myself through it. much more worth it. It's even worth feeling insecure and worried and like all of the mental health things that I have to undercompensate for. It's worth all of those things to feel like I exist as a person and so does the world around me and I can really be in it aware of myself as well as my surroundings. Not just like cognitively know they're there. Like 
physically be in them, feel them, and me. It's like there's this level of intrinsic relaxation, security, comfort. Like this default euphoria almost and contentment and feeling of like calm and belonging makes me just want to sigh and cry all the time and makes everything I'm doing fucking amazing because I'm actually doing whatever I'm doing. I could never explain it. I could never explain in words what it feels like to be embodied and have a self-image and feel real and feel like reality around me is real all at once and to have connection to my senses and my emotions. It's like the sort of high I've always been chasing with various alcohols and intoxicants my whole life. But even then having like a hollow empty version that was temporary in this is so much better than any of that. It's really hard work, yeah, and it's so completely worth it to exist.